So we'll see uh, when we analyze the subs how many I have to throw out and this just might be a bust. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. And for those of you who have seen my videos in the past or have subscribed, thank you very much. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to review SV Boney's SV605CC cooled color astro camera, which is this little guy here. I've had the pleasure of uh, testing this camera in the last few weeks and Unfortunately, the weather was not cooperating too much, but I actually squeezed in two imaging sessions with this camera on my SV Boney SV503 102ED telescope. Since I've already posted an unboxing video and talking about the physical appearance and the characteristics and the technical data of this camera, I'm not going into detail too much in that respect. So this is gonna be more like talking about the actual usage, my experience in the field, and uh, also demonstrating a couple of uh, uh, astrophotos that I've taken with this, this camera in the past. One is gonna be the uh, M81, M82 combo, the two galaxies. And also I did a session on the Monkey Head Nebula, which unfortunately was cut short by high wind, but I did my best to uh, edit what I have and I'm going to show you later in the video. So I've done both imaging sessions with all SV Bonnet equipment as far as the scope and the accessories are concerned. Um, so I have the SV Bonnet SV503 102ED refractor telescope. I have an SV165 mini guide scope. I have the SV905C uh, guide camera. I also have an SV Boney um, finder scope and of course the SV605CC uh, one-shot color camera. Um, I also have SV Boney's field flattener and 0.8x reducer installed here but other than that uh, that's pretty much it and I was for the shots I was using my uh, iOptron ZEQ25 GT mount which is back here just as a decoration today. As far as the capturing software, I've been using SharpCap. Then I register and stack the subs with the Deep Sky Stacker. And then I do my processing and editing in Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw. But I also use StarNet to uh, get rid of the stars if needed. Okay, so we're gonna download the uh, camera driver, SV Boney Cameras. Let's download it. Okay, it's here. Let's do the install. Awesome. We're gonna plug in the camera and see what happens. Okay, so this is what we have as an intro screen. I can make this field a little bigger. So um, what we want to do is select RAW 16 for this camera. I usually have the debayer preview on. We can select the exposure time or we can just do quick mix, whatever seconds or minutes we desire. Now we have the gain. The gain for this camera goes from zero all the way to 600. Now the unity gain is technically 
above 120 there have been some independent measurements where they found it was like 130 or something so I uh, usually keep it at like 130 I think I did mine imaging at 131 the black level or offset can vary from 0 to 100 um, I'll set mine to 25 and then we have image controls you know contrast gamma sharpness white balance I don't mess with these because these are actually going to influence your captured subs so this is I close it thermal controls cooler on or off and then we can set the target temperature which is whatever temperature you want minus 5 minus 10 degrees and the camera is gonna cool down gradually and then we have pre-processing I don't deal with these and we have a histogram where we can stretch the histogram and look at our preview and this is just for display so this is not going to affect the final subs but it's very very useful to find the objects or fine-tune your framing and all that stuff we can also select the capture area there are a bunch of options we can go down to just full HD and then we have a region of interest selection that we can move around and select different regions of the sensor okay the output format I'm not keeping it on auto it's gonna be fits files and the region of interest we don't want this so we're gonna go back to the maximum resolution 3008 by 3008 9 megapixels so when we capture I usually do a start capture I name the object let's say M81 or M82 we can select single frame or unlimited or we can set the number of frames this is what I usually do and then just hit start or in this case cancel and we have the options of capturing light frames dark frames flat frames bias frames dark flat frames or other frames i ended up doing two imaging sessions with the sv605 cc camera which was no easy feat considering how bad the weather was in the first few months of the year however the camera proved to be a great performer which is no surprise since it features the popular imx 533 sony sensor that has proven to be a great astrophotography sensor Dynamic range is excellent, image quality is great, using it with SharpCap is easy. However, I did not try Nina or any other astrophotography software. The cooling worked great, but of course the ambient temperature was also fairly cold, being the end of winter. For the first session, I picked the M81-M82 Galaxy combo as my target, where framing with my 102ED telescope came out great. I also used a Bader Moon and Sky Glow Neodymium filter for this session. I live at the edge of the suburbs next to a fairly good sized metro area. My sky is technically Bortle 5 to 6, but the area of the sky looking north and east is close to Bortle 7. This session went without a hitch. Calm conditions, good transparency and seeing. Tracking was excellent. I shot 2 minute subs at gain 130 and offset 25. After collecting 160 subs, the total integration time came out to 5 hours and 20 minutes. This is the final image. The second imaging session was dramatically different unfortunately. I picked the monkey head nebula as my target. This celestial object was past its prime in late March, but I wanted to pick something for a narrowband imaging session. 
This time I used an IDAS NBZ dual narrow band filter. It was very windy all day, but I was hoping it would die down for the night. Well, it did but only a little bit. My mount is fairly sensitive to wind and it did show in the images. So as I mentioned before, I'm trying to image the Monkey Head Nebula tonight. The skies are really good, um, transparency is good, seeing is so-so, but the worst thing is the wind. Unfortunately, it's very windy tonight. I can even see it on my laptop screen. It's just wobbling back and forth. So, uh, unfortunately, the tracking is not good. Um, I even tried to put my uh, Nexstar 11 in front of my main scope just to block the wind a little bit. It's not helping too much, unfortunately. So we'll see uh, when we analyze the subs, how many I have to throw out, and this just might be a bust. The conditions were so bad that I was forced to give up after a couple of hours. After throwing out a lot of subs, I ended up with only 21 five minute light frames, making the total integration time a short one hour, 45 minutes. And even most of the remaining subs were bad quality. I shot 5 minute subs at gain 130 and offset 25. Here is the final image. I think it is remarkable that I was able to achieve this image with such a short integration time. This again proves that the camera performed really well. So my overall impression of the SV605cc camera has been very positive. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the square image ratio, I like the uh, 3 to 2 ratio or 4 to 3 ratio. Uh, this camera was very easy to work with. The images are excellent. Uh, the sensor is great. The cooling is excellent. And I did not find any kind of uh, issue when uh, using this camera. So I highly recommend it, uh, especially for people who are okay with the square uh, image ratio and also who are looking for a very high quality sensor, a cooled camera uh, that has really good dynamic range and low noise and is capable of excellent, excellent images. So thank you again for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the review of the SV605CC camera from SV Boney. And feel free to check out my other videos. And if you like my channel, please subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.